Hi, I'm Ben Brownlee for Boris Effects, and this is my Mocha quick tip for deleting lots of keyframes. Now, sometimes when we're tracking with Mocha, things can go completely off the rails. If we look at this clip here, we can see that as the camera pans over to the left, the door goes out of view, and eventually, that result just twists and turns into something where not even Mocha can compute the layer homography. So when we want to delete all the keyframes from here, we used to have to go into the dope sheet. And this is where all the keyframes would be stored. Now with Mocha Pro 2023 and above, you don't have to do that anymore. If you're working in classic mode, You'll see over on the bottom right hand side, you'll have three buttons that are there to delete multiple keyframes, delete all keyframes or delete forwards or backwards. But if we just click on delete backwards, nothing has actually happened here. And that's because we need to do one more thing to expose those tracking keyframes. If I go down into my track module, I can just select manual track. All of my tracking keyframes are now active and visible, I can just delete backwards from here and you'll see my layer is now not tracked anymore. I'll just go back to set to large motion so we don't see any of that other information. And as we play this back now, you'll see when we get to the beginning of the track, we don't have that bad tracking data throwing us off anymore. And one last little bonus thing, if we want to now trim this door track layer so that it's only the length of the tracking data, I'll just click this little button in the layer properties with a T in the middle, and that will set my in and out points only to the tracked region. So there are tons of these sort of workflow improvements in Mocha Pro 2023. To stay up to date with all the latest in Boris FX training, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name is Ben Brownlee for Boris FX. I'll see you again soon. If you'd like to learn more or watch some of our other tutorials, then head on over to borisaffects.com.